to your cadre, restore this old farm house. The bairns three years grown, new and thriving, they say. Yet will na be complacent, there's mair to this challenge. When the winds they blow at us with uncertainty. How are we radical? This is what the normal should be. If this is not the normal, then it's radical. How are we different in our land ownership? Pushing in an open-hearted, sincere and kind way for social change. Personally, I, I think land ownership is, is enormous and we need to have much more fair systems of land ownership. I can see from my experience of, of what impact that has elsewhere, I think we need to do a lot more to get folk just to see that, just to normalise that, just so people understand it um, a bit more. The evidence is there for anyone to see that taking land into community ownership is just it's transformational. And it opens up dialogue about bigger issues, about community voice, because that is true democracy. Community voice really at, at a grassroots level. Well, local people, they never had a say in who owned the land or who the landlord was and uh, it was basically sold for money to people who lived in England principally, but even in recent years lived abroad in Europe. And um, now that the people here actually own the land themselves, they have more control over what happens. They can manage, they can determine what can be done, and the, the land will, uh, I hope, never be sold again in the way it has been in the past. It wasn't until like I really thought about if, if other people owned it and they got all the benefits from it, and you put all the energy in. Can't imagine what it, what, what that would be like, you know. Because the more you put into this place, the more you get out, and the more you give to other people, and the more you see how much it helps people, the more you feel like you're a part of it, and that you really are a community. You know, it's. Uh, it's just so, it really is powerful. Oh, golly, it means economic control over the whole environment, housing to, to children being at school, to the number of people that are here, to the, what happens on the land. Um, uh, yes, it's, 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 it's everything. Absolutely, it affects every aspect of, of life. I could not have been a very good person. I was 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 Yeah, the children go up there and um, Mary absolutely loves it. It's really f funny, she'll come home and tell them about all the stories about the forest. So I think that's a good way of explaining to the children, using the forest to explain to the children that that's community owned and you know, you, you do have a say in what can happen there. belongs to the people who live on it and it belongs to future generations. 
I think it's very important for the community to own land because we can never have that feeling or that worry uh, that the next day we could be taken off our land. It's just a sense of community you get, and really, community is where it's at. It's the word that sums up this place. If you look around you, everything is an experiment. Everything is learning. You know, nobody comes here and doesn't learn something every day. It's just incredible. Coming from the grassroots and it's transformational, I guess, in a way that just like some lord owning land or some big organisation owning it doesn't have that same potential or that same sort of energy, I think. set up structures that all voices could be heard and all voices felt they were being heard and that there wasn't there was a true democracy of opinion. There's still a great attachment to the land and to the community. So it's all about management and control and determining determining your own future really. You know, even when I didn't have a home, I felt like this was my home. And the people here sort of grew into feeling like my family. But for those who do come here, you know, I, I've seen firsthand how they get it and how it, how it makes a difference for their lives. It kind of adds a little bit of purpose. That's ownership. That's the ownership. The, you know, we saw somebody who was struggling and we helped them. Happens day in, day out here. It's like a light switch, and you can see that change as soon as folks see there are opportunities that we can do stuff here. So, so yeah, I think it's, it's huge. Even now, even though there are lots of um, community land buyouts, it's still seen as almost a, a reactionary idea and it's um, and there's always fierce criticism of it, always folk trying to undermine the movement and yet I've not actually seen any signs of failures of it. There's plenty of signs of failures of private land ownership um, and that's, for me, it's bizarre. Um, so for the, the wider land ownership, I think it should be should be seen as one of the mainstream models for, for developing land. Radical is about roots. So surely the people that live on the land, depend on the land, are the people that should be consulted about the use of the land. It's very simple. It's, it's not a complex thing. Cadre restored the salt farm house. The bairns three years grown new and thriving, they say. Yet will not be complacent, there's merty this challenge. When the winds they blow at us, we uncertainty.